boots. Few were good at soldiering. It was so bad, the general was forced to change tactics. Okay. He decided that we needed a doomsday weapon. <laughs> what? This motherfucker got an atomic bomb? That weapon is an Oh, ringo. shit! A monster. Oh, what the f- The Dragon King. The general told me the old legends were true. What the fuck? His ancient ancestor defeated Onaga, trapping him deep inside Mount Sagan. The Dragon King is still there today. His pent up fury waits. They just gonna him. drop fucking Onaga in this? Because Onaga is so dangerous, the general wouldn't risk trying to tame him before. What the fuck? But now. He feels we have no choice. Brass crazy as fuck. Though I likely won't survive. I accept this mission gladly. I can think of no greater honor. Well, Reiko want to fuck the child. I'm sorry. Service. He wants to. Damn, that they fleeing outward. They just going to drop fucking expected to return. Onaga like that? And I also hadn't expected the new empress to make me an offer I couldn't refuse. My boy Reptile. To thank me for helping stop General Shao's rebellion. She that asked was me fire. to be her emissary to the Zaterans. Going home. <laughs> Bearing the seal of the royal house, I would show once and for all, that my mutation yeah, wasn't Yeah, if I was Reptile, feared, I'd make them all slaves. But it wasn't a source of shame. Fuck them. To my surprise, I was welcomed. But those warm smiles hid a dark secret. Oh, shit. They gonna turn on my boy? I stumbled upon a trove of official records which showed that my shape-shifting ability isn't unique. What? Many Saterans are born with it, but are killed by their government to keep it from spreading. Damn. Who started this barbaric policy? Who is now enforcing it? He's been killing his people. But I will find out. And I will put an Yo, end what the heck? These shit. Madness. These fucking stories crazy as shit. The battle has been lost. But the war isn't over. I won't stop fighting until I take Outworld's throne. The sure thing that late in prison would hold me is laughable. Once free, I began planning my next campaign. I would need Look an at unstoppable Rekos. army. Oh, why did they you reuse the, the picture leader. though? That's lame. Unfortunately. Most of my former soldiers lack the courage to rally to my standard. Rebuilding my army would require finding new recruits. New recruits. And that task is proving easier than it Rico is a professional blazer. Outworld's golden my general. age has left more than a few behind. Without hope, without power, they eagerly heed my call. To tear down Molina's government. <laughs> okay, that one's all right. That one wasn't that great. Oh. As the darkness enveloped me, I took a long last. Oh yeah, she died. I did not expect to see them again until their souls joined mine in the living forest. What? But miraculously. Oh yeah. My beloved husband delivered me. He sucked. From he sucked the soul up. Though he couldn't save my body, Jared had preserved my soul. <laughs> I like how Sundale like is him just Ermac and countless now. Others, I am now a part of Ermac. We are Yet Ermac. ours is not a peaceful repose. The collected souls within Ermac have their own needs and agendas. Before we can speak as one, we must first reach consensus. Damn. I had thought, as the former rulers of Outworld, I and Jared would hold sway. Damn, they gotta fight all these fucking spirits and shit. Souls among many thousands, fighting for the right to be heard. Damn. And if there is one thing we do well together, it is fight. I like this. We will win the right to govern Ermac. That they like, they have to, to fight to be Ermac. And we will rule for the benefit of all. So Sindel is technically Ermac now. Which is pretty cool. No sooner had Titan Shang Tsung been defeated okay. than Bi Han and his loyalists hunted us down. 
Outnumbered, we fled to Japan. Oh shit. There we sought refuge from an old family friend. What's his name? As children, we played together. But Harumi Shirai was a woman now. The head of her clan. Okay. She ra ra you. Beauty and intellect awed okay. me. That's a you scorpion? Also incensed by Bihan's betrayal, Harumi agreed to help me forge a new clan. One that would stand against him and defend Earthrealm. Her aid proved invaluable. That's not a she As time you went on, started. we grew closer. Bro, how are these better than the end of the story? Harumi and pay respects Bro, a midget? Why are you so small? I named the clan after her. Or a small person, I'm the sorry. Shirai Ryu. Is midget offensive? Now the battle against my brother my begins in earnest. The Shirai Ryu won't rest until Bihan is defeated. Oh, and that's... Lin Kuei's that Bihan outfit kind of crazy, though. That shit pretty crazy, though. That was a crazy outfit. I had broken the Lin Kuei free of Liu Kang's enslavement. <laughs> we were now masters of our destiny. And could take our well, place yeah, among party. Earthrealm's great nations. But taking and holding territory would require a vast yes, army. Who, who, is, who is that? I needed more fighters to make our presence felt. Then I recalled Shang Tsung's dragon warriors. An dragon army of them warriors. would be unstoppable. But trafficking in okay. such strong magic would surely draw Liu Kang's attention. Sector advised that we avoid detection by building our army using science, oh, not shit. sorcery. Robots. We've invested much into this oh, endeavor, and my we God. are to see results. Once again, dude, this is cooler the than the actual story. You learn so much genius. more about this. When we are done. All of Earthrealm will honor our desires and heed our demands. If not, they will face the Lin Kuei's wrath. You get so much lore. What the fuck? Kui Liang and I were working hard to build our new clan. Okay. But even with the help of his close friend Harumi, it was difficult. <laughs> what the, fuck? the biggest problem was finding the right initiates. Okay. Then, one night, while walking outside Harumi's compound, I was attacked. By who? I thought at first it was a Lin Kuei assassin, but his strikes were too uncertain, too angry. What the fuck? My attacker, it turns out, was a boy. Homeless and hungry, his assault was born of desperation. He needed money. He needed money Poor so ass that he boy. Eat. It was like looking at myself. 15 years ago, I would have ended up just like him. Okay, his fist are fucked Kuei up. hadn't taken me in. Who the fuck is this So to I be? took the boy to Kui Liang, who also appreciated his fire. We made him our first initiate. Who the fuck is this? The boy's name? Oh, it's Hanzo! Little baby Hanzo! Oh, little short ass! That oh, that's fire. in Earth realm. Little baby Hanzo. To study with his Shaolin masters. That is fire. Dude, that is so good. Finally had a home. These are so good. What the fuck? Tempered as I thought about Serena. My shadow sister was still under Quan Chi's yoke. And she deserved a life free of him as much, if not. Bro, these are cool as fuck. Quan Chi and my other sisters proved tenacious, but they were no match for my blade. Damn. I snatched Serena from them. Then Liu Kang helped me break Quan Chi's yeah, spell. Yeah, these are kind of lore things that I wanted, bro. This is what I'm talking about when I say I want more years, lore stuff. Serena chose Shit to like join this. me in Earthrealm. My sister and I once again fight side by side. Damn. Only now we do so for Earthrealm. Nice. Together, she saved Serena. The Order of Light. Oh, they found the Order of Light. While the regime had my blood Baraka. little else had. What's up, man? My people still suffered in silence, ignored by the rest of Outworld. Damn. Though now I knew Empress Melina's secret, that she was also afflicted with Tarkat. If anyone would help. It would be her. 
Okay. But how to get an audience? My boy Sire Baraka. Earth. He was the Empress's new emissary to the Zaterans. I asked him to introduce us. At great personal risk, he agreed. And as I'd prayed, the Empress was willing to meet. Oh uh, yeah. Even she better, does visit the colony. Visit the colony. In her story. She was shocked to see how we lived. She moved quickly to provide for our care. MLK! 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 Empress and Sizoth, we Tarkatans are no longer pariahs. Until our disease can be cured, that will do. Bro, I hope they get healed one day, bro. I wasn't looking for allies against the Yakuza. Okay. But I found one in Special Agent Jackson Briggs. Oh shit! Her gangsters plotting to kill me on a wiretap and came calling, hoping I'd be his informant. Bro, this shit is cool as fuck. We Look at Jax. When we got the job done, but then Shang Tsung showed up to steal Sento. <laughs> Needless to say, Jackson had questions. It blew his mind to hear that the stories in Johnny's movies were real. Damn. Once the shock wore off, Jackson quickly sized up the threats Earthrealm faced. They look like the he men in black. He got his bosses at the FBI. To <laughs> the the fucking men in black movies. The outward. Bro, this is literally the men in black, black plot. After all, me? A government agent? Come on, bro. This is Men in Black. But it's an important job. This is actually, like, no joke. This is the Men in Black plot. An honest living. <laughs> General Shao's revolt left Outworld's armies in tatters. We were vulnerable to enemies both foreign and domestic. Okay. That's why my sister asked me to take command. To stitch her military back together and purge Shao's loyalists with Yeah, purge it. She trusted only me. I like that Melina actually becomes the soldiers, Empress, however, as she should. Faith. They thought me a spoiled dilettante, unprepared and unfit to serve. That I could fight mattered little. All that mattered yeah, was should, that so. I wasn't one of them. I finally earned their loyalty by orchestrating an epic victory over Shao and his rebels. Okay. Though the general himself escaped. What the fuck? That was a smashed. weird cut. For as long as I am able, I will lead the Empress's armies in defense of Outworld. Through strength, we will achieve peace. Okay. Until recently, I hadn't met Li Mei. But I had heard the stories. Oh, this is Tanya's? How the Umgadi's matron superior blamed her for not preventing Emperor Jared's murder. How she quit in disgrace rather than accept punishment. But those stories didn't fit the woman I now knew. Li Mei would never have been so negligent. I like how Tanya and, and Li Mei are like friends. I uncovered the truth. The failures and mistakes which led to the Emperor's murder? They resulted from poor decisions made by the matron superior themselves. Oh shit. They madely made their scapegoat. Oh shit. When the Empress found out, she wanted the Ungari disbanded. But I convinced her that it could Damn. be reformed. To make sure it did, she put me in charge. Oh shit. That's what I like to I see. Am humbled. By this sacred responsibility. The Umgadi, my sisters, damn. they are my life. I will not damn, let them damn, be brought damn, down damn, damn. by the acts of a selfish few. That's crazy. Though the barriers between <laughs> timelines have been rebuilt. Yeah, what the fuck there years was no question that they could again be broken. Protecting this timeline would require eternal vigilance. So that it could not fall victim to further outside aggression. You gotta pay attention. But nothing in my countless lifetimes had prepared me for this task. In none of them. Yeah, that's true. Had that's a lot of work to put on gears. Ever coexisted. Monitoring them for threats was an entirely novel problem. It would require. They put all that work on my black bro. 
I discovered that though the timelines no longer touched, their meeting had left them intertwined. Oh, shit. I can now secretly surveil all timelines, keeping watch for potential danger. Damn, so they got gears just watching every it single fucking timeline. To do this service for the new era, Lord Luke, my boy Ty, rest assured Damn, that it is secure. My loyal partner had warned me. Reclaiming my power as keeper of time might have unforeseen consequences. Slaved at all times. You in hate this, to see it. As wow. in most things. <laughs> he proved prescient. The process I had undergone did irreparable harm to my body. Oh Taking shit. Back my power had cost me my immortality. Wait, Liu Kang is not immortal While no more? My lifespan would still stretch across eons. I will oh, okay. one day perish. And if the war with Titan Shang Tsung taught me anything, it is that this timeline is Damn. not safe without a protector. So Liu Kang is not immortal no more. Yet I had never but he still will live for a very long time. Successor. Who is it that could replace me and protect my new era? Damn. The answer, of course, is Gears. Yeah, it should be Gears. Tireless and meticulous. He is perfectly suited. Yeah, to it should be Gears, right? That makes duty. the most sense. And no one knows better the temptations of the hourglass. I have no doubt he will. Gears gonna run that shit with an iron fucking fist. Something get wrong, just delete the fucking Since universe. This whole thing kicked off. I'd wondered why Liu Kang chose me to be a champion. I mean, sure, I was killing it as a martial arts star, but it's one thing when it's all for show. It's different. You're playing for keeps. Yeah. <laughs> then Liu Kang let me in on his master plan. He wanted the masses to know about the world beyond them, the one filled with gods and monsters. So he made he let him too. What the fuck? <laughs> to tell him about it. <laughs> what the but fuck? I knew revealing the truth all at once would be too shocking of a plot twist for most. So he made a fucking. That's why I pitched doing a bunch of stories. The Mortal Kombat into the universe shit. It. Oh, that kitschy outfit was his alternate. And if there's one thing I can do besides kick ass in combat, it's build a cinematic universe. <laughs> I'm serving up movies, <laughs> streaming series, wow. games, you name it. This is such a Johnny ass I fucking like ending. That I'm doing a public service. And it doesn't hurt that I'm making more than a few bucks. It's the kind of synergy that would make any studio mogul <laughs> proud. He's the Ed Boon of this universe. It was inevitable that the Shaolin Masters had me join them. That's funny they knew shit. just how much future initiates could learn. No, bro. Ed Boon said it's canon, Shujinko bro. This is all canon. One of my early hey, Shujinko! His ability to absorb anyone's powers and skills was amazing. With the right training, he could become our greatest champion. I knew that I alone could give it to him. So Shujinko is the next in line to be champion but after Kung Lao. As his proficiency grew, so oh. did his ego. In love with himself and his power, Shujinko became a threat to the realms. He hadn't learned humility because I wasn't the one who could teach it. No! Shujinko Are they going to kill Shujinko? And not try to train Shujinko alone. After he was subdued, Shujinko's accumulated abilities and memories were taken from him. He is once again a new initiate, ready to begin his training. Damn. This time, Raiden and I train Shujinko together. He will become the champion he is destined to be. Oh, this is Kong Lao's thing. Why did I say Raiden? I will fulfill my duties humbly. Wow, Kong Lao, what a fucking failure. Of course you did. Damn. After escaping Lei Chin prison, I was hounded by the Imperial police. <laughs> this is Shang I needed a place this to hide. Snarky ass voice. While I plotted. I really like this new Shang Tsung voice actor. I knew the remote canton of my youth would be perfect. Not racist, dude. To escape capture, I traveled by sea. I traveled by sea. Little did I know that a gargantuan storm was brewing. Damn, My tiny craft was smashed apart. 
I closed my eyes, waiting to drown. <laughs> for, for, waiting to die. The realm wouldn't claim my soul. Now we both know they're gonna claim your damn soul. But when I reopened them, I found myself not in hell. Oh, uh, Shang Tsung's island. island. From its ruins, I could tell that great sorcerers had once lived there. In the caves beneath the ruins, oh, shit. I found what I can only describe. Oh no! As this is how it happens. This is how it happens. Once I learn how to wield its power, I will become invincible. Oh! Uh, you become souls, man. About how the public might react. I met with Baraka to discuss his Tarkatans. Man, Speaking I ain't get the from confused. his heart, he moved me. I agreed to visit his colony and see how his people lived. Yeah, that's the one we saw yesterday. Conditions were Atro atrocious. Yeah, Melina, it is atrocious. You're fucking this dying. Was one of my mother's few out. mistakes. Like all outworlders, she treated Tarkatans with scorn. They're like, ah, bitch up us. us. We die. And the only way to get it for them was to reveal my affliction. To show all my subjects that even an empress could get Tarkat. Bam. The scandal my revelation caused was intense. But with the help of Katana and Tanya, I emerged from it a stronger empress than ever. Okay. My honesty, empathy, and resolve. One That's what I'm talking about, Melina. Doubters. Look at the the fucking There's character no growth. Any question that I am fit to That's what I'm talking about. Go ahead. That's what I'm talking about. As her reign began, Empress Melina faced many challenges. To meet them, she turned to the people she trusted. Her sister to lead her army and me to lead her imperial police. The feds. Though I missed Empress Sindel dearly, I was glad my ties with her family had been Lee made. kind of old, eh? But while what? it was an honor to She's be stressed. responsible for Outworld's internal security, I soon realized Damn, she stressed that the appointment was a mistake. I'm not cut out to be a bureaucrat, nor am I patient enough to navigate the imperial court's politics. She said, put me back in the field. I was at my best patrolling Sundo's streets when I could feel the city's pulse and serve and protect its citizens directly. Yeah, she was like, I That's need to go back That's why I resigned my post and resumed my role as Sundo's first constable. Oh, she said, I ain't with all that other shit. I've made a difference. That's all I'm talking about, Lee, man. Go back to what you want to do. Quan Chi's plot collapsed. Along with it, my plan to secure new oh things to feed my starving people. Because I'd advocated for partnering with him, I was held responsible. This is if a different voice actor, isn't it? Is new feeding grounds, the coven would banish me. Is it? But then, I had a revelation. Somebody told me she had two different voice actors. I didn't need to conquer realms to feed my people. I simply needed to capture enough beings to breed them. Once they multiply, Baternus will have a limitless, renewable source no, of No, that's food. I think that's Megan, guys. And I only need a few thousand to That's start. definitely Megan. <laughs> a number so small compared to the billions in the realms that no one will notice as people go missing. But it will be more than enough to establish our breeding stock and feed a ravenous Baternus. Okay. Were it not for my godly counterpart, I would not have survived the battle against Titan Shang Tsung. Meeting him, though. <laughs> Volunteer's <these> tribute. <laughs> why did you him in this <laughs> Why was I made mortal? Lord Liu Kang told me of his Raiden's nobility and righteousness, about his steadfast leadership in the defense of yep. Earthrealm. He was a good leader. He also told me about Raiden's dark side. Dark Raiden. How he could be consumed by rage and cast aside the rules he Went fucking crazy. By. Making me mortal and incapable of such anger was to keep me from following in his footsteps. Yeah, he went fucking ballistic. Though I understood the reasons why, I felt I had been done a disservice. Oh. To survive the coming battles, 
I may need the edge that only great rage can bring. Oh shit. As the Shaolin couldn't aid me, I sought out someone who could. Someone to stoke the what fire the within me. What the? He's just gonna burn him? Master it. For this, I could have no better teacher than the Shirai Ryu's Grand Master. You straight up burned him. To elude capture by Empress Melina, I joined Havoc's Crusade in Saido. There, I summoned more magic than I thought possible. And drowned out the old regime. Dude, what the fuck? For Just drowned everybody? He was more than satisfied. But I was left empty. Wow. And broken. Had I been satisfied as Outworld's high mage, not let myself be tempted by Shang Tsung, a great city would not now lay in ruins. Damn. You're feeling like shit now. I've caused devastation. Ended thousands of lives. All because of my blind ambition. Damn. I've betrayed my oath, my sovereign, and my realm. These high crimes merit punishment, and I'll accept whatever the Empress gives me. You ask your dumbass my deserves only it. Ambition now is to one day be forgiven. No, we'll never forgive you. Quan Chi's defeat had cost me everything. Is having the last person? For months I had furthered his plot, and now I had to start over. Saido's people were still in chains. So you just That's drowned when him? Rain approached me. That's your answer? On the run from Empress Melina, he was desperate for help. And though I'd had my fill of sorcerers, this one was different. This one was different. I agreed to provide him safe haven. He agreed to help topple Saito's government. So instead of toppling him, he just drained it everybody. Did. He just drained it. He just drowned everybody. Summoned a wave so fast, so powerful, that it crushed the capital. Saito's fascist rulers were swept away. He just killed everybody. My people are finally free. They can chart their own course, needing only to follow their own desires. Their lives are now blessed by anarchy. <laughs> oh, nice. All right, so in general, I think those are really good. I, I like I like most of those. I think it added the like bit of lore that I felt like was missing from the game. So you got the extra pieces of lore of some of these characters. You just fucking see Onaga. So I it, well, okay. So I really think Onaga is going to be the boss of the next game, like MK2, which I'm assuming. I think the next game is going to be Injustice Three. Um. I'm, I'm I'm fairly confident. I ain't gonna say fairly, but I'm pretty sure that the next game is gonna be Injustice Three. Then after Injustice Three, I think we'll get Mortal Kombat too, and I think Onaga will be the boss. But I think those was pretty good, man.